Police are looking for a group of burglars targeting high ticket items at dirt bike, dirt bike shops in Grapevine and in Irving as well. Yeah, the trio of burglars were caught on camera in a smash and grab style burglary July 6th at Lone Star Yamaha in Irving. Then, just a week later, police believe the same group stole from Grapevine Power Sports. Fox Sports Lynn Wynn talked to victims and joins us live in Irving with the latest on the police investigation. Lynn yeah, Heather and Brandon, this group is believed to have stolen tens of thousands of dollars in dirt bikes and a special edition ATV. And victims believe that the group may have been in the store before because they knew exactly what they were going for. I mean, it's a violation, you know. Uh, this is kind of, you know, what we make our living. Two very similar burglaries in the early hours of the morning. They wrapped a strap or a chain around the front doors. He drove off and ripped the doors off. And then ran in and ran out. By the time that we got here and the police had gotten here, they were already gone. In about a minute and a half, these three managed to grab two dirt bikes and a special edition ATV at Lone Star Yamaha off 183 and North O'Connor Road in Irving. They may have been fast, but not that smart, having to stop and reload one bike that falls out during their getaway. It sucks. It's a 110 degrees out, and we're here all day working to feed our families, yet they come in the middle of the night, you know, and they're not working for anything, stealing stuff. Then the following Friday, the same group, possibly behind a burglary at Grapevine Power Sports off 114 near DFW Airport when a witness at a nearby movie theater interrupted them. We were loading up, you know, a couple of the dirt bikes, but they saw him, and then that's when they took off and they dropped two bikes outside, so they would have had more. Between the two stores, stealing six brand new dirt bikes and an ATV. These are the two. They actually have a 250 SX, and the other one was a 450. Altogether, valued at more than $50,000. One guy ran directly to a 450X that was all the way down at the end here. Another guy ran completely around the corner to a vehicle that you can't see. There's no way to see it from anywhere unless you've been in the store before. Both victims and police hoping someone recognizes these three. You can kind of come get a job and then you can buy you one. You know, we'll do that for you. And both stores say that they plan to put extra security measures in place to keep this from happening again. Police in Irving and Grapevine are asking anyone with a possible tip to contact them.